Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? So we've got a couple of timers here. And if I calibrated them so that the same volume of sand took the same amount of time to pass through them. We take these two timers and we head off in a balloon. These two timers on board and it goes up to say you know, 8,000, 10,000 feet. Now at that point this timer here they are both inverted to start them running and this one is dropped. And when it reaches the ground, <laughs> Einstein, you little devil! Einstein's clock is exactly one minute behind mine and still ticking! The person in the balloon gets in touch with them and says, How much time have you got left to run on your timing device? And how much time is left running on this timing device? And this guy can continue to go up, get to about 20,000 feet while this is falling. As far as he's concerned, the trip was instantaneous. That's why his watch is exactly one minute behind mine. He skipped over that minute to instantly arrive at this moment in time. Come here, I'll show you how it works. We shall catch up with him at the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? <laughs>